Hi again. Before uh, starting this lecture, I should tell you that you have to look back into our previous lectures before doing this. Uh, cause you don't know, if you don't know how to create record sets and how to create a form for it, you will not be able to do what I'm going to do now, okay? So let's get started. We have created this form and record set as well. Now we have to name our form. Let's name it form sub and to give it a behavior of insert record we have to go into server behaviors tab and click on this plus sign and then insert record select a form f from here if you have multiple forms on the in your page select a connection from here and a table as well if you have multiple table in your database you have to select from this list down menu list drop down menu and check that every field name gets a value from a form field okay uh, why this sno field is not linked with any uh, form field cause it is on auto increment we don't need to connect it with any field okay everything is okay now let's browse a page as a, for the success page get back up success.php I just created a page of success and uh, wrote some text on it so that user can find out that his form is submitted or not now uh, as you can see that the behavior of insert record is on our page let's preview this page preview Server is disconnected, but done. Let's insert some record. Uh, let's say honey and abc at the rate of hotmail.com. Submit. Your form is successfully submitted. Go back. And after that, we have to create uh, a dynamic table and uh, retrieve record in that dynamic table it's so easy 